Kommt so If you were watching last time, you'll remember the mysterious Christmas messenger, the boy who was telling the story, and you may remember some of the carols. This week, one of the carols is one of the most popular of all. It's Good King Wenceslas. Again, by hearing the word said rather than sung, the deeper meaning is made clearer. You'll see what I mean. First though, We'll pick up the story from where we left it last time. The stars shall light your journey. Your mother holds you close and warm. The donkey's pace shall rock you. Sleep, baby. Dream no harm. What songs are these? Faint heard and far, the wind, maybe, in palm trees tall, or running stream, or night birds call. The dark lies deep on the desert, where Joseph walked and Mary rode. The dark lies deep on the desert. Sleep well, thou child of God. What songs are these? Faint heard and far. Tis neither wind in palm trees tall, nor water brook, nor night birds call. It is the voice of children, where Joseph walked and Mary rode. The fierce wild beasts are friendly. Sleep well, thou child of God. What forms are these? Clear on the dark, that shine. And yet our flesh and blood that laugh and sing along the road. It is the band of children where Joseph walked and Mary rode. A singing crowd of children. Sleep well, thou child of God. Oh, never was seen. So strange a guard, about the footsore travelers they, in lovely circles moved till day. Until the baby wakened, while Joseph trudged and Mary rode, such lullaby be all men's, sleep well, thou child of God. But what of peace on earth and goodwill to all men? The carol singers remind us of the angel's message to the shepherds. 
How bleak Christmas would be without their songs of hope and joy. such as this, it's good to feel the warmth of a child's grateful smile. But what of those for whom there is no warmth on Christmas Eve? Surely we can spare more than a thought for them. Where and what is dwelling? 
Sire, he lives a good league hence. Underneath the mountain. Right against the forest fence. By St. Agnes' fountain. Bring me flesh and bring me wine. Bring me pine logs hither. Thou and I will see him dine when we bear them thither. is darker now and the wind blows stronger fails my heart I know not how I can go no longer mark my footsteps good my page tread thou in them boldly thou shalt find the winter's rage freeze thy blood Less coldly. In his master's steps he trod, where the snow lay dinted. Heat was in the very sod, which the saint had printed. Christian men, be sure, wealth or rank possessing. Ye who now will bless the poor, shall yourselves find blessing. I stayed close to the stranger that evening, listening to the carols. But all too soon the time came to part, and he wished me farewell. Well, I too must be on my way. I've far to go tonight. A Merry Christmas to you, sir. When he walked away, I saw for the first time but he left no footprints in the snow. I thought perhaps it was just a trick of the moonlight, but though the hour was late, I followed him, keeping close to the shadows. Then he turned and saw me, and for a moment, I was afraid again. Yet, he smiled and said, Fear not, for behold, I bring you tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. Suddenly a glowing light seemed to cover him, and he was gone. All that remained was a single star shining brightly in the sky. But then I remembered the legend, and I knew that the angel had returned to earth, for he was the stranger who made the carols mean more to me than they had ever done before. Mean more to me than they had ever done before. I think I would agree with that. Whether we believe the legend of the Christmas messenger or not, certainly the message of Christmas, of peace and goodwill to all, lives on through the words of the carols we sing and say. When it comes, a happy Christmas to you.
goodbye.